Good morning. We are headed to Chalbi Desert. We've been to the Trukana side. We are going now to the eastern, the other side. Just went to the other side. So I'll be updating you guys as we go through and showing you what I see. Let's explore. People travel to Kenya for its amazing beaches, scenic landscapes in the Great Rift Valley, and the magical wildlife in the national parks. But did you know that 80% of the country's land is arid and semi-arid? A large part of northern Kenya is arid and is characterized by deserts and picturesque terrains. The region is inhabited by pastoralists whose culture is not only rich but also unique. Recently, the roads to northern Kenya have improved and tourism is gradually increasing. People can now tour the north, discover its hidden gems and interact with the one of the most unique cultures in the world. We are at Karatina. At Karatina. <laughs> taking a short break at Nanyuki. We're just taking photos in this sign here at the equator. This is my second time here. I've been here. The last time I was here, we had come to Abadea's cottages that I've already made a video about. So if you have never been to Nanyuki, here is a sneak peek of how the town looks. I will be back to explore the place some more because Nanyuki has very interesting places to visit. It is the gateway to Mount Kenya, a Mount Kenya National Park. This is my first time in Isiolo County and Isiolo Town. The county has one of the top Kenyan wildlife conservancy, the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy. So if you plan to visit Kenya, consider visiting these sites too.
Come on. Guys, we have Hi a guys. new vlogger here. She's Welcome to me. our channel. I am taking over her channel today. Welcome to Marsa Beach County. This is the cradle of mankind, the border county towards uh, Ethiopia, which is the land of origin. Mukana, the cradle of mankind. I don't know why Marsa Beach is the cradle. Of are you Are you sure? Yeah, Trukana boy. Because early man was here. In fact, there are big graves we will see in near Chalbi, ah. a lot of rocks that I hear they were giants who were buried there, oh. who were supposedly early man, but I think geographers are Jafanya Kazer. But the oldest human being ever survived, that ever survived, mm -hmm. Ziko. Hey, archaeologists, walifika apa? Walifika? <laughs> My friend? Masabit. Eh? Okay, I don't know about Masabit. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. Kama <laughs> walipotenji. But well, also, uh, Marsa bit borders the uh, Trukana. Yeah, yeah. So, in fact, Loyangalani mm -hmm. is half is in Marsa bit, half is in Trukana. The, the, is it divided by Lake Trukana? Yeah, yeah. A portion of Lake Trukana is in Marsa bit County, and the other portion is in Trukana. It's probably. Did you do your Google? I did. <laughs> Home science agriculture represent with IT. <laughs> Kuna options za accommodation, kuna manyata na kuna those other houses. But since I'm here for a different experience, I have to sleep in a manyata. It has a modern bed. I'm told there's a socket somewhere. It's cooler. Yeah. Kuna place for lighting and stay in a manyata.
endless mountain, endless beauty. Natural rock slide, mm -hmm. or in the local language called Derawai Pulse. Yeah. Eh? Derawai Oasis, Derawai Pulse. Eh? Derawai is located in the middle of Doto Ranges eh? in okay. mountains. Oh. Okay. So there are two types of ranges mm -hmm. in Samburu. Yes, Samburu and uh, Marsabit County. Mm -hmm. So this is Doto Ranges, still in Samburu County, but accessible via Marsabit. And there's the Matthew Ranges, the famous Matthew Ranges. Eh? Mm. So this is very scenic. And we have our expert here, Simon. Simon. Who knows the mountain? <laughs> by name, by name, by name. What you're doing in February, between February and March, mm. because there's a school holiday, we are trying to get people who are nature lovers, hikers. You come hike, it's called hike for good hike. Mm -hmm. and then we are all having background in different professions, yes? Mm -hmm. So there's a rescue center here for girls. Mm -hmm. So if you are a techie and you like hiking, if you are a teacher and you like hiking, if you are an environmentalist and you like hiking, mm. we give you an opportunity to mentor mm. the girls in the Ndoto Conservancy. Mm. Mm. It is a rescue from? Okay, so here there is a lot of FGM and early marriages, rampant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay, it's sponsored by KEDEF. KEDEF is Kenya Education Dryland Fund, a local organization supporting kids with education, seeing them through education mm -hmm. from primary up to university nice. levels. And because they know, once they send these kids school closes, you're sending them back home. What you're subjecting them to is early marriages mm. and FGM. So they, after school closes, they're brought into the rescue center where they 
stay up to they finish the university level the parents are allowed to come visit oh, no, to no, no going no going back home. yeah no going staying back home because some of these kids don't have a place to stay they come from poor communities they go to stay to the auntie and the sold off eh? so they're given provided a place to stay mm -hmm. so yeah you can come hike empower them yeah you learn oh that's mm -hmm. nice you think of you look at the map and you think of northern kenya you just think of arid and semi-arid places desert bare land all that that is what we've been told but look at this all these beautiful places which have not been exploited i'm telling you guys this place is so beautiful and i would totally recommend it because the more you come the more you support the community the sliding rocks we've just used there's some cash that will be collected to be taken towards the community and it will support the community 300 shillings this is just amazing and by the way i'm excited about sleeping in amanyata i really want to know how it feels to live like the pastoral is here there's uh, the samburu people so this place is in samburu but we are, we are sleeping in the houses where we are sleeping it's in in Marsabit. Runit in the uh, Marsabit camp, okay. camping site is in Marsabit County, but it is just like six kilometers from here. We've accessed this this uh, the sliding rocks through Samburu. So they're just neighbors. This is now the authentic pastoralist life. I'm excited about this. Imagine an adulterated form. Now I'm told in this place there are elephants, leopards, mostly. You can see this tree. This is the work of the elephant. Walking back to the cruisers so that you can go back to the camp. We take a bath, we have our dinner, we do some games. Okay, this trip just turned out to be something I never thought it would be. I, I really didn't know what to expect, but I'm loving this. So, we arrived yesterday in the afternoon, um, for those who don't know, I'm in Marsabit, so this is where we stayed, I stayed in, I slept in one of the Manyatas, it's actually very cool at night, very cool, that you might need a fleece. Let me so, tell you something, sleeping in a Manyata is very interesting, you see this is a modern Manyata, it can get brighter, brighter, and then off, this is so comfortable, and it's very cool. I didn't expect it's this cool. So we are living here. This is day two of this journey to the Chalbi Desert. And it has so many activities, including I think we'll pass by Electricana at some point. So many activities. I was given the itinerary, but I've forgotten. But it will be fun. It will be, considering yesterday was that fun, I know that today will be so much fun because we keep getting educated about the Roma people, the Kushites who live on these sides the Samburu, it's very interesting. It's a culture that I've never experienced before and I'm so excited about it. So today we'll be coming across so many of them. We might go to their market. Okay, we've been told so many things, but I'll keep updating you as we go by. If you're new to my channel, I'm Liv Kenya. Kindly subscribe because I offer such awesome content. So let's go.
So guys, if you wish to explore the eastern side of Lake Turkana and Marsabit County, you must come using a 4x4 wheeled vehicle. The roads are not tarmacked in the interiors and it will be impossible to use cars with low clearance. I'd recommend using a tour company as they have toured the place several times and they know where to pass. Among the, the toughest in Taita Mountain and Taita Hills to hike, I think, in Kenya. Yeah, uh, it's among the, the, the toughest. Mount Poi. Mount Poi. Yeah, Poi. Poi, P O I. Yeah. There's a sugar piggy piggy. Yes, you can. But there's also rock rock climbing because on this side, it's like very straight, so you can't like hike. <laughs> <laughs> so that Mount Pori, Poi, Mount Poi, it's the hardest mountain to climb in Kenya and I think, I'm told in Africa, just imagine that. So the climbers who make it to the top have a label on their, they have like another, an extra, what do you call it, a crest. So guys, we have been driving for the past two hours. We are headed towards Long Island. So, yeah, wherever that is. And we are having a bathroom break. I realized a very very new facial treatment and foundation. Desert sand. Look at my eyelashes. <laughs> Everyone looks like this. It's so nasty. We left the tamakron yesterday and we'll be seeing it even if we'll be going around for the next four days. So no more tamak. The Electrocana Wind Power Project, I'm told, is the second biggest wind power plant in Africa with plans to add more turbines underway.
a windmill power station. Yay! Mount Kulal is an eroded down extinct volcano located in the northern Kenya, just east of Lake Turkana. The mountain has an elevation of 2,285 meters and has been a biosphere reserve since 1978. You see that road there? We're going to drive up there. Oh. Did you know that Lake Trukana, formerly known as Lake Rudolph, is the world's largest permanent desert lake and the world's largest alkaline lake? Now you know. Guys, we are at Loyangailani and we are here for lunch to swim. I'm telling you guys, the views along the road. Oh my god, I can't even believe this is Kenya. It's just breathtaking. Okay, and I didn't know I looked this. The dust, just look at me. Look at the hair. <laughs> but I'm excited. This is just a trip of a lifetime. I tell you guys, everyone in their lifetime especially Kenyans should pass by here. This is just beauty in nature. Guys, we're checking in to our place, our room, 
and then we'll go swimming in a swimming pool later we'll go for sundowner and skin dipping for the ladies oh yeah i can't wait for that skin, skin dipping deep <laughs> just know we'll go for skin dipping for ladies, ladies only ladies only ladies We are staying in a double room. There's, there are single rooms, but me and Hadia, to kona uda kunyingi sana. We have to tell stories. We requested for a double. Yeah, so, <laughs> to kona uda kwe. If I sleep with my mouth shut, I could actually die. <laughs> Anyways, guys, our room is called Tiger Fish. Now, it is a very decent space. Just look this. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Hmm? Yeah, so this could be my bed. It's on her dears. And then we have a sink here. A mirror, sink. Of course, we've carried our water. Some wardrobe here to store our stuff. And then toilet and bathroom. Yeah, it is spacious and self contained. So, thank God there are mosquito screens over there. At least there's some mosquito screens. There's a mosquito net. Actually, in the evening, we'll yeah. open all the windows, all the curtains. It's too hot here. To go to the I agree. <laughs> Let's change and go to the swimming pool. So guys, after a long day of being on the bumpy road, it was really amazing swimming, relaxing and taking amazing photos. So follow me on Instagram as Live Kenya to see some of these amazing photos we took. the whole Chalbi trip. It's an entire trip. We are not yet in Chalbi. This is Marsa Beach, but we are headed there. But the, the route to that place and the days we spend in different locations is totally worth it. I think this is just the, the best decision I made this year. Thank you very much, whoever recommended. And you guys, you need to be here. This is awesome.
Them I come, them I want, them I take up. Bad man, me I come in, me I wanna take up. Girls, them I come, them I want in on the liquor. I steady sipping on my liquor. Then I tell her me she give and never. And I can't wait for tomorrow. So guys, this is day two, end of day two. Stay tuned for day three. There'll be more such content. Today I'm in desert. Desert Museum in Noyangalani. It is right next to Lake Turkana. And today we will also be going to the desert and many other activities. So stay tuned. If you haven't watched my other videos, please do. I'm on a journey to the northern Kenya. I've done a couple of videos on northwestern Kenya, the Turkana side. And right now I'm in Marsabit. So stay tuned and let's explore. There's another museum near Kubi Forest, the prison one that Dr. Liki was building, the late Dr. Liki was building. And there's another one, Koto Museum. It's in Marsabit town, we're going to see it. Yes, so we have a total of four museums. Marsabit has 14 plus ethnic community. There's a community called Burji. Burji are the farmers, part of us. So this is how they store their grain. It's called Omo Fuda, just Omo Fuda Gabra. A necklace made of yellow and red beads. How you see a woman is married in the Gabra community. Oh. Now, if you see, if you go to, this one is mostly worn by the one Borana elder, Borana spiritual Borana. elder. It's called um, spiritual Ayu. Elder. Yeah, spiritual elder. They wear this, huh? mm. like that. Only known by men. The spiritual elder is someone who is very religious eh? and, and, foresees, him, and foresees everything. So you have to respect him and listen to him. And he's very, very nini, influential in terms of elections. The Kushites are known to have a lot of perfumes. Eh? Mm. We invented perfumes with good yard. So this is, I know Catholics have seen this in yeah, Massa. Father, same. Mm. Huh? They were influenced by the Arabs. Aburu Rendile married woman wears this, eh? mm -hmm. and there's another bead. Uh, yeah, I can show. Rendile, Rendile, Turkana, Gabra, mm -hmm. Dasnach. Mm -hmm. Yes, for men. What is Dasnach? Dasnach is another community. community. The communities living in northern Kenya are among the tribes that are known to have strong cultural beliefs and practices which are adhered to without fail. If you are an ethnographer, you will find this museum very resourceful. Mingling with the locals in Loangalani will also blow your mind. After the museum tour, we were taken to interact with the Elmolo people in Elmolo Island. Their settlement is like 15 minutes drive from the museum. We're going to Del Molo Island and I have adjudged myself because Minayo has refused to arafat me. Good morning, the channel is under new management, so <laughs> all the rules apply. <laughs> I have officially taken over. Welcome to El Molo Bay. Oh, 
Like we have like the, the Gaza people, we have the Samburu people, we have the uh, Tukara people who are living around them. And this, the, the, the number is still small. In the last census of 2019, these people were only 1,104 people. We are at the Komolo Island. There is some very interesting information about them. Here is their market, jewelry market. Uh, the Elmolo community is among the smallest population in Kenya. Actually, they are classified among the marginalized communities. Right now, they have intermarried with other this, the other communities around the Samburu, the Turkana, so their population has grown a bit. However, they ha most of them have deformities because of the, the percentage in fluoride in the water. That is why you realize that most of their teeth are brown. It has been discolored by the fluoride. Okay, their main main source of food and income is fishing. There's a mountain that they consider sacred, so most of these houses face the mount the mountain because they believe it is a sacred a sacred mountain and they also believe that any large mass of water has a good spirits so most of them would like their houses to be closer to the lake as opposed to be much further in the hill two years ago there was no this water mass here so they used to just walk all the way or, or some cars would just come directly but due to the swelling of lake trukana and other rift valley rivers other Rift Valley lakes, there's, it has become an island. Water has come out there. Fishing is done by ladies and it's also done by the gentlemen. Ladies fish during the day and gentlemen fish during the night most of the time. Their language and their culture has diminished because of the interaction and acculturation by other communities around them. So some of them speak. They have a lot of uh, Turkana and Samburu influence. So guys, I hope so far I have convinced you to travel to the north. Northern Kenya has a lot to offer and I hope tourism grows so that the community around can also benefit from the revenue generated. Now let's go to North Hall Sand Dunes. Guys, welcome to the North Hall Oasis. This is the first time we are coming across water since we left Elmolo Island. Yeah. And this place is so beautiful. Whenever you see palm trees in the desert, it means there is an oasis. I said I'm taking over this channel. Oh, yeah. What happened? Yeah, please. Go the ahead. channel is under new management. Welcome to North Hall Sub County. <laughs> it is a sub county? Yeah, it is a sub county. Marsab, it has so many sub counties. There is Moyale Sub County, there is Sapo oh. Sub County, which is Marsabit Central, where Marsabit Town is. There is North Hall Sub County where we have now the Chalmi Desert and the Oasis and then uh, we have like Sami Sub County. <laughs> so this Oasis is just for animals, not human consumption. Mm. The local community ban these things because um, sometimes, because 
see it's very thick eh? like this so hyenas and other animals behind there so when the animals are herding they tend to be beaten and they do this because of most the snakes eh? the snakes or hyenas because they want the predators water is coming from springs underground eh? mm. underground springs mm. get some souvenirs, the Arafats, the dealers, but me I think I'm sorted some people are going to buy it, buy it far cheaper here. Arafats for 350 and for 500 it depends with the material, but I think we are set. I'm just waiting to go and have lunch and then swim before we go to the child with that. We have just had lunch at Catholic Mission in Kalacha. Kalacha is an oasis in the North Horse Sub County, the Chalvi Desert region. North Horse Sub County is the one that has the hugest number of camels in Marsabit County. Mm. Uh, county is mainly inhabited by the Gabra. Also, now that this is uh, the region which is, has now the True desert, the Chalvi desert, mm -hmm. it's very, very hot. This is my version of Arafat. I feel like the wise men who came to give Jesus gifts, the mirror, the perfume, and all those nice things. See my eyelashes say it all. <laughs> so we're about to go to the sand dune. Welcome to one of the biggest sand dunes in Chalbi Desert. Chalbi Desert is the only true desert in Eastern Central Africa. And uh, this is one of their biggest sand dunes. They are, the wind is the one which creates these effects mostly. And uh, we have seen even the, the old sand dunes. That one over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that one is an old sand dune which uh, has been covered by storms so it doesn't have the scenic effect like this one that we are seeing here.
After exploring North Hor Sand Dunes, we headed to a small town called Kalacha, which is located 64 kilometers away from North Hor. If you're enjoying this road trip as much as I do, please hit that like button and comment below. We checked into our cottages and freshened up, then proceeded to Kalacha Catholic Parish, where we had the most sumptuous dinner ever in this trip. Trust me, I'm not exaggerating. After dinner, we went back to our cottages. Now this is the most interesting part. Initially when I read the itinerary, I thought stargazing would involve use of telescopes. Imagine my surprise when I realized it meant sleeping outside our cottages in unfamiliar neighborhood. I must admit that at first I was skeptical and worried for my safety. To my surprise it turned out to be a boarding session for the entire group. Kalacha has unique warm climate that makes sleeping indoors uncomfortable, hence sleeping outside was a great idea. Its skies are often very clear exposing the magnificent stars. I could literally revise my science lessons on different types of star arrangements. There were no mosquitoes and the neighborhood is very safe. I never realized how fast morning could come in such a beautiful place. If you're enjoying this road trip as much as I do, please hit that like button and comment below. Again, it's day four of our stay in the northern Kenya. I'm right behind Kalacha Catholic Church. It is a historical site. It is where there are original Ethiopian drawings made in the church about the entire Bible, the New Testament and the Old Testament. Yeah. So it's where the first place is which came in existence in the Spanish and uh, it's for us that the Baptist and the Jordan if you haven't watched my journey throughout north kenya check them out in my playlist i'm sure you'd really love this place so guys today we are going to the chalbi desert yesterday we were at the sand dunes we traveled through the the gas oasis we swam it was just so much fun just check out that video today we are going to the chalbi desert we're going to have a drive through actually that church behind me is right at the center of chalbi desert <laughs> <laughs> Marika, you should come back soon. Yeah. No, you should come back to Kenya soon. It's beautiful, right? She loves Kenya. Trust love me. Every part of Kenya. <laughs> it's so beautiful. How about Amazing. the people? The people are tough. The people <laughs> are tough. <laughs> tough as in survivors or difficult to deal with? No, no, it was a joke. <laughs> I think people here are very nice because they always have for some party, for some music, to enjoy uh, life. Uh, we, we make the best out of it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> How about socializing? It was very nice to do that in Nairobi, even with curfew, even with COVID. Yeah, it was my nice. chance. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so guys, you have a reason to come to Kenya <laughs> and tour around. Now let's go to our next destination. Yes, Kalecho Oasis. Now you see this, this Oasis has been refurbished. Eh? Refurbished meaning they, it's, it's modernized because it's used for both human and animal consumption. Mm -hmm. See, they tapped the source, mm -hmm. you won't be able to see it, it's already fenced. And then the water flows, eh? continuous so that you will go from land. We are at this oasis, Kalacha Oasis. 
it's this beautiful very photographic now let's go and explore the desert Chalbi Desert covers approximately 100,000 square kilometers in area and it is named after the Gebra language meaning salty and bare. Like many areas in the northern frontier, the desert was once part of an extensive lake. This is evidenced by the basin filled with shallow water during heavy rains, leaving behind snail shells and fish vertebrae. This is salt. It's actually salt. By the way guys, the rock dune is 24 kilometers long and the wind blowing in this area is very strong. 
We took a couple of photos in this place and then advanced further into the desert. This is my corner and this is the last oasis of the Chalmi Desert when you're coming from Loyangalani. But it's the first oasis when you're coming from Marsafit town. Yeah, oh, so it is a desert? Yeah, but when it rains, all the water gets concentrated there, the center of the desert. Yeah, ah, it was a desert lake. That's why you can see the salt flats. Your place to go white. There's only salt flats. Yeah, salt. This road is being constructed because of the slaughterhouse. Yeah, because of the slaughterhouse. Yeah, because they want to be exporting meat. Yeah, it's a very big slaughterhouse. People don't slaughter camels just for the obvious. Maybe when an elder dies, like a very respected man in the community dies, that's when they slaughter and eat the camel meat. This is my first time in Masabit town and this is how the place looks. I was surprised at how cold and chilly this place is considering it borders Chalbi desert. Guys, over 200 kilometers later, eh, we are in Masa Masabit National Park. We are here for our lunch before we go back to our, uh, where we'll be staying today. But 200, over 200 kilometers later from from Kalacha, actually, this is how we look. And the eyelashes. <laughs> This was so much fun! This is free foundation! 
You don't need any other foundation. What we go through so that we can document such things for you, so that you can be able to know and uh, try and experience the same is just unmatched. But we are now in Karare town at uh, Lenana camp. Karare town is uh, like 18 kilometers from Marsabit town and uh, it's majorly inhabited by the Rendile and Samburu and uh, the camp is in, in the middle of the of Marsabit National Park. How does it feel like what we to have through, all this what we go through to document for Kenyans? Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> this far you just have to I'm telling you, content you creation. Mamba kwa ground ni hivi. Kwa ground, yeah. mambo ni different. Mamba kwa ground ni hivi aki. Mm. Eh. But it's, eh. yeah. But, but how come you do not have... Well, you are not in the same yeah, thing. Yeah, do you want to try? No, it's camouflage in, your, in the colour sure? of your skin. No, 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 no. <laughs> Believe me. If we put now a tissue, you will see. <laughs> this is, this was black. Eh, now look at me. Brown. Uh -uh. You look homeless. I do look homeless. <laughs> <laughs> See the first day, you remember Gurni? Yeah. Mm -hmm. God trying to put together a good team so that mm -hmm. we can enjoy because I have had the maximum enjoyment. <laughs> 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 and I also want to shout out Sarah. Almost a thousand trips and you still do it with so much energy and so mm -hmm. much excitement. I know you have like a million photos of the desert, but you are there hyping us up. And <laughs> so guys, as we are having our lunch, everyone got a chance to share the experience of the trip and the entire journey. Some of the accounts were personal and I will not be sharing it in this video. However, I must admit that I met the most amazing people on this trip and they made it really memorable. It's true to say a stranger is just a friend you have not met. Yeah. <laughs> I finally get to use this sunroof. There are not so many animals here, but we will see what this is. So usually they put the water at the sea. Okay. Yes. But now like other elephants and other wild animals often get in there but they some of them die. Okay. So the animal animal yes, like Oh shall let's say America. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the so well is dig like a, a staircase okay. up to the top. So five men go in to get water, to fetch water while they are full full okay. naked because okay. they don't want to contaminate the water with the clothes, you know. They okay. are, yeah. So they sing to give each other like psych, you know, don't get tired, they sing a lot of songs. During the rainy season, you see it's already full. Mm -hmm. Because during the dry season, the water level goes like down no. completely. So they take the water, they fetch for themselves for drinking, then that log, they put some there for the animals. Okay. And then there's Sarah. The thingy ones are only used when they dry season. Okay. Okay. When you look at the trees, there are some things which are hanging. Those ones are some funny snow or old man's ears. Don't look on the road, you take the sun. 
The circles are the shrinkage. Yeah. Shrinkage of water because it is a seasonal lake. Yeah. So it continues when it's dry, it completely dries. Oh. It fills this place. So it's, it is Lake Paradise. Yeah. Buffaloes. The white ones are gravy zebra. Yeah. You know oh. the difference between gravy zebra and the other zebra? It has the more. Yeah. No, the stripes. The stripes are smaller. Yeah. So there are zebras over there and elephants. This is the elephant pool. It has, uh, it is a permanent pool, unlike the Lake Paradise, which is seasonal, because it has uh, water springs, and, uh, underground water springs. So you can see the elephant is at the center, but on the sides the buffaloes, are the buffaloes and the zebras are walking around. I think they're waiting for the elephant to leave so that they can drink the water. This is our final night, we are checking into our room, it's called Sylvia's Inn. Today has been quite a day. How are you? Good morning, this chilly morning from Marsabit town. Chilly and you don't have a sweater. Uh, pneumonia lasts for a while, but the drip, the drip lasts forever. forever. Uh, <laughs> this morning we are so humble because the wilderness safari is really humbling. So it's time to return the, the channel to the real owners because this content creation thing is not for the faint hearted. <laughs> But it has been the best experience. I'm glad I influenced you positively for the first time in your life. <laughs> and there are still, by the way, there are still some more places to visit here. South Pole. Samburu, no, Samburu, the elephant sanctuary in Samburu. Uh -huh. Yeah, there are so many, so we will, we will come here. Yeah. Yes. And then, yeah. Hey, guys, it's so chilly. Someone here is in. Ishida drip nishida kweli. At pneumonia lasts for a short while, but, but the, the drip, drip stays forever. forever. <laughs> it has been a pleasure eh? hanging out with this girl here, mm -hmm. and it has been a pleasure going After on more this than trip. A yeah, imagine since high school. Huh? Now, if you know me, you know her. <laughs> Character. Zinenda <laughs> ibi. So this trip has been so humbling. It's been so educative. History, geography, culture. It's now alive in our minds. Hey, yeah. hey. 
I would totally recommend this for anyone, especially Kenyans. Yeah, don't yeah, yeah. don't live this life without coming to Kivu North. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm don't you go to Dubai before you come to Chalbi. Because for sure, for sure, you will appreciate your country. The way you think it's just a desert, there is nothing there. It is very scenic. The culture is very rich. So your subscribers will miss me. <laughs> Please comment down below in the comment section. Pester her so that I can appear more in this channel. <laughs> because I know you need me even if you're not seeing. We are going back using a different route, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, 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 we came through Laisamis to Lake Trukana, then we did a circuit mm. through uh, from Laisamis to South Hor. Then we came through there, through North Hor. So now we are going back via the highway, back to Laisamis, then to Isiolo. Today, no rough roads. Today, soft life. <laughs> I just feel like we have I'm, I'm in yellow. I cannot, I cannot look like the way I looked yesterday. We are going back. It's sad to end this journey. Actually, I'm going back home to Mombasa. It's sad. I can't believe it. But Kilichona Manzo Lazuma Kiona Mwisho. Anything that has an end, a beginning has to have an end. And do, do, like these videos. I'm telling you, watch all the videos on the North Northern Kenya on, on the entire road trip. Trust me, you'll see things you've never seen. Like I have. As usual, we explore together, huh? We learn this country together. So like, comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, there are more road trips coming this year. Plenty. You don't want to miss you out. You don't want to miss out on Be this. wise, be wise. Yeah. Bye.